Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to another Kaiser University post-game show. This time, Kaiser University men's soccer defeats Ave Maria 5-0. I'm here with our two player of the games with Aaron Malloy and Reese Weldon. Reese had a hat trick in this one in a 5-0 Kaiser University win over Ave Maria here at home at Arrigo Viciello Field right behind us, which led to the men's soccer team improving to 4-0 in conference play. The men's team, for the first time in school history, is 4-0 in conference play. Coming up for them is a slew of away games. They will take on SCAD and Thomas, and that Thomas game is always a tough one. One of the great, great teams in the Sun Conference, a team that's usually in and out every year as a powerhouse coming up this weekend for Kaiser University. That's on the road in Thomasville, Georgia, and they will have the call for that one. But guys, we'll start off, and we'll start off with you, Aaron. Four and zero for the first time in history for both y'all. It's your first time here at this school. But how does it feel, you know, to be four and zero and know that the conference season is off to a heck of a start? Um, yeah, it feels great, obviously, to to make a bit of history in the school. It's like um, setting a standard and just making a try and go go away this weekend and make a five and six and six and zero. So looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is uh, good to get school history, but uh, it means nothing at the minute. Uh, we got to keep winning. Hopefully, win the conference and then win the conference tournament and push on to the nationals. Then, yeah, trying to find your way back into the national tournament. Of course, that is located here in South Florida at Delray Beach, and of course, Kaiser University, known for one of the biggest wins in that tournament's history, two years ago when Kaiser University defeated University of Rio Grande in overtime in an upset where the 16 seed upset the one seed, a huge victory. The video of that is awesome if you've never seen it. Have y'all actually ever gone back and looked at yeah. that video? Yeah, yeah, we've all looked back as a, as a team, like making the feel in the moment. So looking to do that this year as well. I got in a lot of trouble, uh, me and Sports Information Director Kevin Devrian, because there's no cheering in the press box. Oh, okay. But uh, we got in a lot of trouble. We do it this year. Yeah, a lot of trouble after that win for going nuts in the press box after after we beat uh, University of Rio Grande. Guys, you know, we'll go to Reese now. A hat trick, mm -hmm. you know, a huge offensive performance. Again, I believe there was an assist in there for you as well. You know, what's it like just being able to put the ball on the, in the back of the net almost on a dime? Uh, I mean, it's not really up to me. It's uh, the players around me that help me score. So, I mean, my job is to put it in the back of the net, but it's their job to set up the goals for me. So they're more important, you know. I've noticed that it's always either one of you two taking the set pieces. How big have the set pieces been this year in contributing to goals for this team? Oh, it's been massive. Um, me and Reese have been, well, well, a lot of people have been out practicing them, making sure that in game day that it would, the opportunity does come that it's more than likely going into the back of the net. So it's, um, I think it's the, the training, all, like off training stuff that we stay back and do. So yeah, just keep going, keep doing it. We reset really quickly. Kaiser University defeats Ave Maria 5-0. Reese Weldon had a hat trick in that one. Kaiser University improves to a school record best 4-0 in conference play. Coming up this weekend is SCAD and Thomas. Thomas, of course, one of the better teams in the Sun Conference. Guys, now I did hear that if we did score a goal off a set piece, which we did in this last game, the coaches had to run uh, Yeah, they had to run two miles. How did that go? Well, they still haven't, they still haven't done it yet. They're I think, yeah, they, uh, they said they're going to do it in their own time. Maybe they need some practice before. Uh, but we're looking forward to looking at them struggle because we've done it uh, during preseason a lot. So we'll have a bit of a laugh when they do it. So hopefully it's soon enough. Try to get it on a rainy day. Yeah. yeah. I did see all yesterday practicing out here. What's it like to practice out in the rain, knowing that you can play? This is one of the sports you can play in the rain. You know, and both of y'all came in uh, mud everywhere, and it looked like it was going to be a heavy laundry day. Well, it's my uh, favorite time to, to train is when it's raining. Obviously, I grew up in Ireland where it rains a lot, the ball zips, and I think training is much better when, when it's a bit of rain and it's, the surface is a bit wet. Both of y'all coming from Dublin, what's the transition from Dublin to West Palm been like? Uh, for you, Reese, and then we'll go with you, Aaron. Uh, well, obviously the most obvious one is the weather difference. It's uh, a lot hotter out here in humidity, whereas back home it just rains like every single day. So, I mean, I played in Arizona last year, so I was kind of used to the heat, but it took me about two weeks to get used to the humidity, so that was a big difference. Yeah, obviously it's the it's the weather every day. I pack on the sun cream. My ma rings me every day, make sure I do it anyway. So um, I think it cost them a lot of money by using all their sun cream, so that's probably... The weather is probably the, the most 
the influence on me. Guys, well, thank you very much. That'll do it for us here. Kaiser University defeats Ave Maria 5-0. Kaiser University improves to 4-0 in conference play. They will take on SCAD and a very good Thomas team this weekend, both of those on the road. That'll do it for Reese Weldon, Aaron Malloy. You've been listening to the Voice of Seahawks Athletics. Robert Gutierrez on the Seahawks Sports Radio Network.